Hey kids. Well, today is the next morning here on my little journey. Saturday, May 14th. It's now 9.56 a.m., so it's just about 10 a.m. Had a bit of a rough night last night. Uh, anchor kept dragging. I made the mistake of dropping the hook in a spot where uh, at, where I didn't have the ability to put out much scope because of the proximity to the coastline, the rocks and stuff. And uh, so I just went in and kind of anchored straight down and uh, put a little bit of scope, but hardly anything. I mean, you know, my anchor wasn't straight down, but maybe it was like this. It wasn't like that, like it's supposed to be. And my anchor chain laying out, I'm saying. So uh, tide came in and floated the anchor. I'd gotten it hooked into something pretty big. When I first anchored in, I backed down on it and kind of set it into some big rock, I guess. But uh, as the tide came in, all of a sudden, pop, the bow all of a sudden popped up big movement in the boat and uh, that was the anchor popping off the rock off the bottom so I kind of floated around so I tried to reset the anchor again and uh, this time I thought I had it pretty well set well sure enough an hour later I was floating again so um, quick quick Miss Lily's all excited now today's Thursday we didn't leave the dock yesterday. We left dock the day before yesterday. No, today Saturday, I'm sorry. So we left Friday, we left Thursday. We left the dock Thursday morning. Miss Lily has not pooped since our walk on Thursday morning. Actually, she pooped on the dock. I took her for a big, long walk, okay? Big, long walk. Must have been a half hour walk out along the beach and whatever to have her go to the bathroom. As soon as we head back to the boat, because apparently she didn't have to go, we get on the dock and she pooped. I cannot train her to not poop on the docks, and the dogs aren't supposed to poop on the docks. So I'm getting going to get in trouble for that. But I try to clean it up as best I can, but still. Anyhow, that was Thursday morning. Today's Saturday morning. She had not pooped until this morning. I don't know how the dog held it for that long, but she did. Fortunately, she saw me going into the head to go to the bathroom where there's a stand-up shower. Okay, so there's a floor drain. And uh, she went in there. So that's fine. That's fine. That was easy for me to clean up, and uh, that was a good spot for her to go. So now what I'm going to do is uh, get some of those puppy pads. You know, I have a big stack of them at home in the cabin when she was a puppy. I'm going to bring them out to the boat, and I'm going to lay them on the floor into the head so that if she has to go to the bathroom, she'll go in there and poop on that. I can wrap it up. It'll be easy peasy, clean up. And no problem. So I think we've got, I think we may have that part of the battle finally won. Anyhow, I got up this morning and uh, it wasn't really cold. It's actually colder now. It feels like colder now than what it was. And maybe I was just warm from being all warm and snuggly in the blankets. <clears throat> but uh, so I went right up on deck and the boat was sort of pointed. The back of the boat where I fish off of was kind of out into the deeper water. So I thought I'd drop a line in, and I did. And wowzers, wowzers, big, big hunking cods. I caught one rockfish and five cod already, and two of them I had to use the net. Two of them were so heavy I had to use the net to pull it. I mean, they weren't huge, huge, you know, but they were probably, I don't know, 24 inch or so. They'll make some great fillets and man cod, codfish. That's what sh fish and chips is supposed to be. In England, you go to get fish and chips, it's cod. This is Pacific cod. So they use Atlantic cod. This is Pacific cod. I can't imagine it tastes much different. In fact, the other cod I had the other day, um, I just floured it and fried it lightly, and boy, it was tasty. And these will offer up some pretty good-sized fillets. So I have a bit of a problem. My little cooler, my little Coleman ice chest that I use for my fish is uh, full and has made me realize that, uh, look like I had something on my lens, but I guess not, uh, made me realize that I have to, uh, I need to get a bigger fish box because these big cods wouldn't fit. They went in and the tail was sticking out of my cooler. So... But what I do know now is I've caught enough fish so far. I caught two rockfish the other day, and then these five today, and so i got to get filleting. I'm going to get all these filleted. I'll have fish for dinner tonight. I was going to have it last night, but, you know, 
I just got tired and was frustrated with the anchoring situation, and so I didn't. Um, Miss Whiny here, he whines all the time. You know, I have no idea at this point what she's whining about. I thought she was whining because she had to pee. She peed on the floor, cleaned it up, no problem. I thought she had to whine because she had to poop. She pooped on the floor. Now she's still whining. I go up on deck, she whines because she wants up there. I pull her up there, she whines because she, I don't know. She's just a whiny dog. I'm going to change her name from Miss Lily to Miss Whiny. Uh, maybe I'm not paying enough attention to her. Probably. Anyhow, so i got to fillet some fish. Uh, here in a minute, I'm going to take the camera up and uh, film. I'll show you just how fast this action is. I mean, I literally bait the hook, drop it to the bottom, bounce it three or four or five times, and there's a fish. It's just that fast and furious. There's no um, there's no finagling with it. Just a matter of finding the right uh, the right spot. I kind of like to find a spot good for some flounder or maybe some halibut. I may try moving the boat and going out someplace where there's some more halibut. Uh oh, now we're gonna have a lot of noise from bone hockey. She's got her bone out, but we'll see. Got the water sample yesterday for the plastic study. That was cool. Uh, I'm going to do a pH study today, do a pH, pH test, ha, huh. and uh, see where that's at. I said ha huh, because the fluid looks like it, the pH tester has to be immersed in fluid all the time, the, the probe, and I changed its fluid yesterday, and I was thrown because it looked like there was no fluid in there, but it's just that it's really clean fluid, so. For some reason, it turns brown. The fluid in there, after a while, turns brown. I don't know if it's something in the contact with the pH tester, but I put the liquid on it, and uh, five days later, it was sort of a brown color. Anybody knows that, any reason why that would happen? I don't know. Maybe some sort of electrolysis with the probe? Um, be my guess. But I use this... Uh, you have to use a special solution. It's a perfect 7.0 pH base um, negative neutral fluid that the probe has to stay in. And then I guess it measures varying degrees off of that, whether it be acidic or alkaline. So I really wish my other testing equipment had gotten here in time, but I had to go when the weather was. There's good weather down here. It's been nothing but raining the whole first month pretty much that I've owned the boat, and now it's a sunny day. I'm going to stay today because I've been feeding Miss Lily some of my bait fish, and uh, last night I made uh, grilled chicken. I made chicken on the grill. That's what it was. And I uh, had to use that up before it went bad. Um, it was a package of chicken thighs. I thought it was just four. There was five of them in there, so I ate a couple and then cut the rest up for Miss Lily for dinner. That seemed to work. Um, tonight I'm going to have fish. But I'm going to let her go ahead and finish her dog food that she's got. She's got just enough, about a one-day supply of dog food. So I'm going to let her finish that up and um, see how it goes. Now, I've been doctoring some. Uh, not that you really care about this, but I was told, but some of you people may, may have experience with this. Uh, I have a uh, uh, elevated liver enzymes and an elevated... Uh, Billy Rubin, whatever, whoever that is. But I was told that eating orange or lemon juice is good for that. So I'm eating some Pellegrino Lemonada, which seemed like a good way to drink some lemon juice. I was adding lemon juice just into my water and drinking, you know, lemon water, but I forgot to buy lemon juice coming out here, so I got some Lemonada. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Tart, but good. Refrigeration on the boat. I have an Adler Barber refrigerator uh, system on the boat that was set to, on a scale of 1 to 10, it was set to maybe 8. And it was freezing stuff in my refrigerator. Uh, things are actually frozen down there, um, which kind of ticked me off. I bought some zucchini to cut up on the grill. It's frozen solid. So I don't know how well the zucchini is going to thaw out. It might thaw out okay for the grill, but I'm going to thaw it and grill it anyway. Um, but corn and stuff down there, um, some uh, other 
beverages I had down there are freezing, turning hard. So I turned it down now to four to reduce the temperature in there. But I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to go ahead and fillet out all these fish. I'm just going to stick them. It's got like a freezer compartment. It's got like a little aluminum rectangle about, oh, four inches by eight, nine, ten inches, something like that, and maybe eight, nine, ten inches deep little container. And I think I can drop stuff into that and freeze them. I think that's what that's for. And then the rest of it's just refrigeration. So I'm going to fillet out some of these fish and freeze some of it because I certainly have more than I'll ever eat for tonight. One of these large cod would be more than enough for me for dinner tonight. So I'm just not sure where on deck I'm going to fillet stuff. I don't really have a spot figured for that. I guess I'm just going to have to kind of move the cooler and just do it right on the seat and uh, just wash it off afterwards. Just that simple. Just do it there and the cockpit, of course, has got a cockpit drain. All the water in there just drains right out, so that works pretty easy. So uh, I can fillet right there, grab a bucket of water out of the out of the bay here, and flush it. And I've got a little boat brush, so I'll scrub it up. So anyhow, I'm going to have my breakfast this morning. My diet is working beautifully. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm having a peach, two little. Um, mandarin things a banana and uh, I may have some grapes and some cherries an apple depending on how hungry I am throughout the day and then uh, fish and um, I don't know asparagus or Brussels sprouts I guess on the fish to go on the grill I don't know I'll figure out some side dish to go with my fish can't do potatoes. Well, I guess I could. I could put a pot up on the grill with oil in it. I bought some potatoes. I could wash them and cut them into potato sized pieces. I even bought a frying ladle thing. Yeah, maybe I'll make fish and chips. Kind of hard to do that all together on the same grill. One or the other is going to get cold. Not that it matters. I can... Well, but no, if I'm going to do fish and chips, I'm going to heat oil. I wonder if I could piece together a bit of a beer batter. I don't think so. But I can just season it. Dog, you're nuts. I can just season it, I guess, and uh, do it that way. Anyhow, this is boring shit, so I'll figure out my dinner. More later. I'm going to shut this off now, finish my breakfast. I'll turn it back on here in a little bit and uh, show you how the fishing goes. So, bye kids.